Hey what's up guys Winston here and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5060 Ti Eagle OC Ice 16 gig graphics card. As you know for the past couple of years the prices of graphics cards have been a major headache for both gamers and system builders and for the whole DIY market as a whole. With mid to high end graphics cards ranging from an inflated price of $700 all the way up to $1000 and beyond, it's a pretty dire situation to say the least. So when Nvidia announced their more affordable mainstream gaming GPU, the GeForce RTX 5060 series, it was a much welcomed announcement, especially with prices starting at $299 for the GeForce RTX 5060 and $379 for the GeForce RTX 5060 Ti 8GB version, while the extended model with 16GB of VRAM will start at $429. At this price range, it's a great choice for mainstream users who want an affordable GPU for 1080p gaming, a high refresh rate with a compatible monitor. Now this graphics card features Nvidia's latest GB206 GPU featuring Blackwell architecture and comes with 4608 CUDA cores, 4th gen RT cores and 5th gen Tensor cores as well as supporting DLSS4. It comes in an all white aesthetic with dual fans and features a slightly overclocked GPU running at a boost speed of 2.61 GHz. It also comes with 16GB of GDDR7 RAM on 128-bit memory bus running at a speed of 28GB per second. For cooling, it comes with Gigabyte's WinForce cooling system featuring Hawk fans. It also comes with a copper plate and a copper composite heat pipe along with server grade thermal conductive gel. One of the first things you notice about this graphics card is that it uses the shorter PCIe 5x8 interface as well as the 8-pin PCI power connector right there. And that means you can use your existing power supply without the need for a 16-pin PCI 5 power cable which is needed for most RTX 50 series cards. This graphics card is fairly compact measuring only 215mm in length and uh, only uses two PCI slot space which means you should fit in most cases and is perfect for mini PCs and desktops. The video outputs include three DisplayPort 2.1b and one HDMI 2.1b. We'll be testing this graphics card on our usual test rig which is comprised of an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K along with 48GB of DDR5 8000. So let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig and uh, before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's do a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5060 Ti Eagle OC Ice 16 gig version. Alright, let's take a look inside the box. All right, we have a quick installation guide, and then we have the graphics card. There's nothing else inside the box, so let's take a, a closer look at the graphics card. Here we have the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5060 Ti, the Eagle OC edition. This card uses Nvidia's latest GB206 GPU, featuring Blackwell architecture. It comes with a total of uh, 4,608 CUDA cores, 4th gen RT cores, and 5th gen Tensor cores, as well as supporting DLSS4. It comes with a total of 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 RAM on a 128-bit memory bus, running at a speed of 28 gigabits per second. It's got this nice all-white aesthetic, which is uh, very nice and appealing, and uh, only uses two PCIe slot space. This graphics card is very compact and should fit in most cases and is perfect for mini PCs as well. At the top here we have the Gigabyte logo, GeForce RTX, and here we have the 8-pin PCI power connector, which is great. That means you don't need the 16-pin PCI 5 uh, power cable, which is uh, needed for most of the GeForce RTX 50 series. It's got this nice back plate for structural integrity. And notice the PCI 5 connectors here is the shorter PCIe 5 times 8 uh, interface which uh, is interesting. For cooling it comes with the Gigabyte WinForce cooling system which includes these Hawk fans which uh, reduces the air resistance and gives you nice airflow and also um, a large heat sink with a heat pipe as well as a copper base. For video outputs, we have uh, three DisplayPort 2.1b and one HDMI 2.1b. This graphics card should be a fantastic choice for gamers who want to play at 1080p, full HD at the high refresh rates. We'll be testing this graphics card using our test rig, which is comprised of an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K 
along with 48 gigabytes of DDR5-8000 and we'll see how this graphics card will perform with other GeForce cards that we've tested in the past. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5060 Ti Eagle OC Ice Edition 16 gigabyte. During our test, we used an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K processor along with the Gigabyte B860 Aorus Elite Ice motherboard and 48GB of DDR5-8000 memory. We got decent scores in all of our benchmarks, including a score of 6056 for Basemark Relic of Life and a Geekbench GPU score of 180,008. For Unigen's Valley benchmark, we got a score of 6980 and a Final Fantasy benchmark score of 16,253. Passmark 11 GPU score was 28,155. For Superposition 1080p Extreme and optimized 4K benchmarks, we got decent scores of 9,043 and 11,902 respectively. For 3D Mark Steel Nomad and Speedway, we got a score of 3,579 and 4,126 respectively. For Port Royal and Tamspy, it produced a score of 10,080 and 16,322 respectively. And lastly, we got a DirectX ray tracing score of 42.87 frames per second and a DLSS score of 82.99 frames per second. For Cyberpunk 2027, with ray tracing overdrive option enabled as well as DLSS 4, it produced a score of 28.7 frames per second at 4K, as well as an impressive score of 127.32 frames per second at 1440p and 156.3 frames per second at 1080p. Overall, the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5060 Eagle OC Ice 16GB graphics card is a great choice for mainstream users who want an affordable GPU for 1080p gaming at high refresh rates with a compatible monitor. It comes with an aesthetically pleasing all-white design and offers decent performance that easily beats the previous gen RTX 4060 Ti by quite a wide margin. You can check out the full review on our website at funkygeek.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5060 Ti Eagle OC Ice 16GB graphics card. It's an affordable mainstream gaming graphics card that easily beats the previous generation, the RTX 4060 Ti. And with an all-white aesthetic and compact size, it will look great in any system build. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.